Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be sure you're going to make a settings menu in Godot 4. To get started, going to create a new user interface scene. You can call it settings, or anything you would like. Now I'm going to add a node. This will be a margin container. In the drop down with the plus symbol, select full to take up the full screen. Now, add in a VBox container. This will allow us to sort things vertically. The first thing we'll add is a volume slider. So create a new slider h slider we can go and call it volume and if we press play you'll see that we automatically have a nice slider it doesn't do anything yet so let's create a new script on our settings menu that's going to connect our volume slider to our script by doing on value changed connect that on the bottom if you click on audio you'll see you have a master bus i may dive deeper into audio buses in the future however for now you just need to reference the master bus so to do this type in audio server dot set bus volume db we want to reference the master bus so zero and then pass in the value now you may want to alter this value with some sort of offset right now it will be zero to 100 decibels with the volume slider and that's completely up to you how you want it to actually impact your game now what if we want to just outright mute the game with a simple checkbox well it's pretty easy to do we can add in a check box and as a separate node, let's go to add in some labels too to better display what we have. So we have a mute button now. We also have volume. If you want, you can also type text on the actual checkbox itself. To connect it, let's do on toggled, connect that to our settings. To demonstrate this, I've gone ahead and added in a audio stream player with a simple background song. And if we press play, See that we have more music if I increase, we get more volume. If I decrease, we get less volume. If I mute, we'll have no volume. Now let's say the player wants to set the resolution for the game. So add in a option button node in the items. Let's go add in a few such as 1280 by 720. Let's gonna call this resolutions. Connect the item selected to our settings menu. But before you do anything here, head over to your project, project settings. Inside of your viewport width, set it to a default that you would like, but make sure that it is on your list so you can get back to it later. So I'll do 1280 by 720. Inside of your mode, select viewport. All other values can remain the same. Now what this does is it no longer bases the resolution of the game off of how big you have the window. It is only fixed to your resolution on your monitor. So if I press play now, if I scale this, you'll see that I keep that resolution no matter what. You'll see it gets a little bit blurrier too. Back in our script now, we can go to use a switch statement to see which index correlates to which resolution. So we could do match index. If it's index zero, then it's going to be 1920 by 1080. So we'll do display server dot window set size. In the size, we need a vector to i, which just means vector to integer, because we can't have half a pixel. Let's do 1920 and 1080. Let's just copy this over for number one and number two. Let's do 1600 by 900 and 1280 by 720. Now let's go and make the default our last option, so two. Now for best play, you'll see that we have our default option selected and if we select a larger option, the screen size will get bigger. Now, obviously there are many more things you can add to a settings menu. It's completely up to you and your game. However, I believe that these are the key fundamentals that you need. I challenge you to create a full screen checkbox, which will make your game toggle between windowed and full screen mode. Or you can even have a drop down menu, which has windowed and windowed borderless, if you want, you know, those unique options. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.